So uh, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you guys for coming. I was feeling appreciative for the fact that every week so many people show up and that keeps me inspired to keep teaching. And so it's actually really a beautiful thing for me as well to know that there are people on the other end who are getting value out of it. And a number of you have reached out to me that's made me more grateful for the opportunity to teach. So I just wanted to share uh, that thought, knowing that it brings some of you more relief and different ways of looking at the world that makes it more fun. The, uh, I also wanted to mention the podcast from the last couple of weeks because I've been thinking a bit about it and they are on permission and getting help and making decisions simple and all sort of of a theme, which I hadn't really thought about when we picked the topics, but a theme that ties into what I wanted to talk about today, which is embracing change. And that came up because it's fall and change is happening, you know, whether we like it or not. And for those of you on the East Coast and in the very North, it's getting much darker, much faster. And so just embracing change rather than resisting it. And that was what I hoped to offer this morning. So find a comfy spot on your mat. And I will do the same. And ground your sit bones into the earth. As change happens, when we can find a spot of grounding, it allows us to embrace the change with much more ease. So notice your sit bones or your ischial spines ground downward deeply into the mat beneath you and perhaps the block or bolster or blanket beneath you so that your hips are above your knees in part to release those hip flexors from sitting so much, and also in part because it makes us more open and receptive to change. And one of the thoughts that I want to share is this idea of being receptive and embracing and being open. We often resist thinking that where we are now is likely better than the change that's coming, especially if it's unexpected or we didn't choose it or plan it. And yet often, it's much better than we expect. And so when we, in yoga, with intention, open ourselves up, chest openers, twists, to get, let go of the things that are getting in our way, we make ourselves more receptive and open to change. So take in a huge, deep inhale through your nose and an exhale through your mouth, letting everything go. And another long, deep, huge inhale through your nose. And an exhale out through your mouth. And just pause for a second and notice how you feel. If it's comfortable for you, feel free to close your eyes. You can also keep them open with a loose gaze about six feet in front of you. Whatever works for you. Notice your sit bones once again and ground them downward with intention. Settle them into the earth, rest them onto the earth, whatever visual works for you. Tilt your pelvic bowl forward, grow your spine long and tall, stack each vertebrae one atop the other, reach the crown of your head towards the sky, lengthen your neck with intention and drop your shoulders. Heart is light in your chest. Once again, a long, deep inhale through your nose. And an exhale. Using the breath to create some softness and openness. And pause here for a moment, either with your hands resting lightly on your thighs, or if it's comfortable for you, hand to heart. One hand gently resting atop your heart space and the other palm down atop the dorsum of the other hand. And just listen for a moment. You don't have to fear change. What you need to fear is things remaining the same. When that happens, life has stopped. Life is an evolution. Your life is constantly, quietly evolving, each moment into something new, something different, something that adds gracefully, beautifully, and perfectly to what was. 
Can you trust that process with all its insights, clarity, confusion, and emotions? Can you trust that process with its peace, joy, laughter, and its side trips? Learn to honor and love the process of continual evolution and transformation. It's how things grow. It's how you grow. And it's how life is. And I think as fall approaches, many of us embrace fall and enjoy the change in seasons. And yet we don't do that for other things that pop up in our lives. So the offering today is, can you embrace the change? Just like you might embrace the crisp change in seasons of fall. Can you embrace your kids moving away, going to college? Can you embrace getting older, menopause perhaps, changes in COVID, whatever it might be? And if you can't fully embrace it, can you at least not resist it? Stay open, spacious, and allow. The other thought to share is that it enhances our ability to embrace it when we nourish ourselves and come from a soft and kind, taken care of space. And that's where yoga can help you with many of these more difficult, perhaps mindset shifts. Yoga is a more soft approach to change and a kind approach to your body and making changes. And so using the breath and using the stretching and using this just time to be with yourself as a way to nourish and heal yourself and open yourself up to embracing a bit more change so that it doesn't have to be forcing, but just allowing and embracing kindness and shifts in perspective. So with that, take in a long, deep inhale through your nose once again, and then exhale. Bring your hands to heart center, palms together, finger pads touch each one, rub the pinky fingers, fourth finger, third finger, index finger, thumb together, palms rub together. Take in a deep inhale here and an exhale. And spend a moment considering your intention for the fall. How might you be a bit more open to change and embrace the change that comes rather than steal yourself for it? Can you embrace it and allow it and be open to it and enjoy it? See it as evolution. What might that look like for you? Is there a change you need to embrace rather than resist? And when you're ready, lower your hands to your thighs and slowly open your eyes, let the light in. And just notice how you feel. Bring your hands to your sides, inhale, reach both arms up towards the sky, interlace your fingers, flip your palms towards the sky, shimmy your elbows gently for those of you on the west coast behind your ears, slight arch in your back, exhale, round forward, come into a seated cat, beginning to just move your spine, spine presses back all the way towards the back wall, inhale, slight arch, reach your palms towards the sky. Exhale, round, suck your navel all the way towards your spine. Allow your head and neck to release forward. Inhale, slight arch, palms reach towards the sky. And exhale, round forward, suck your navel towards the back. Allow the movement to nourish you. Once again, inhale towards the sky, slight arch back. Feel that stretch in your belly. Exhale, round forward, last cat. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale the palms out towards the side walls. Press them into the side walls. Engage your back, pinch your scapula together for a moment and release. Once again, pinch the scapula together. Notice the tension, let it go. Turn your fingers uh, so they're parallel with your shoulders. Take an inhale here. 
and then exhale, palms are facing forward. Inhale, suck your spine back. We're gonna bring our hands forward like a giant beach ball, bringing, allowing things in, embracing it. And exhale, hands open, palms face forward, chest puffs forward. Round forward, suck your navel in, fingers touch in front like a giant beach ball, more of a seated cat, but with the arms open. Exhale, open your arms out, shoulders back, pinch the scapula together. Inhale, round into a ginormous beach ball, suck your belly button towards your spine. Exhale, arms open out towards the side. Notice if your arms are waking up, you feel them. Once again, exhale, finger pads touch, spine is rounded into a cat. And inhale, open out towards the sky. Lower your arms down by your sides, roll your shoulders out, releasing any tension from that. Pull them back three times and forward three times. Pause here for a moment and take in a really huge deep inhale through your nose as full as you possibly can, filling yourself up as if you were a beach ball here. Keep going, keep going. And a huge exhale, letting go. And just notice how you feel here in this moment. Take the block out from underneath you if you're on a block. If you're on a blanket, you can keep it. A little lift is okay, but too much lift will be uncomfortable. Stretch your legs out wide into a wide angle pose. Take a moment to move the flesh of your seat out of the way. Flex your toes towards your knees. Everything is in alignment. Your ischial spines ground downward, pelvic bowls tilted forwards, each vertebrae stacked one atop the other. Hands come behind you, tense your fingers, press them into the earth, puff your chest forward, drop your shoulders, reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Everything engaged here. Thighs, especially knees, press downward towards the earth. Inhale deeply right into that pocket behind your heart. Nourishing everything and let it go. One more deep inhale. And exhale, let it go. Release your hands, bring them in front. Walk them forward, handprint by handprint. Hinge at the waist here. Spine is straight. You'll notice a stretch in the back of the thighs. Toes remain flexed towards your knees in line with your legs. Notice the stretch and just breathe into it. Chest is light, puffs forward, not folding forward. Inhale deeply, crown of the head be still reaching towards the sky. Exhale, inch forward a smidge more and just enjoy the stretch, breathe into it, opening up to allow for shifts, shifts in perspective, perhaps shifts in action, whatever you need, breathe into it. On the exhale, Move forward a smidge further, if that works for you. Notice whether you've gone too far, not enough, whatever it works for you. Your forearms may touch the floor, elbows may touch the floor or not. Neither is better or worse. Enjoy what feels good. One more breath here. Huge exhale. Lock your hands back towards your groin. Sit up tall, ground the sit bones into the earth. Inhale, both arms up towards the sky. Engage your belly here as you do this. Exhale, drop your right hand to your right shin. Slide it down towards your toes. You may be able to reach your toes. Stretch the left arm gracefully over the left ear. Whole left side body stretching. Breathe into it, creating space in the left side. If it works for you, exhale, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, continue to look over the left shoulder. And exhale, stretch a little bit further, enjoying it. Engage your belly, 
Come back to center, both arms reach towards the sky. Exhale, drop your shoulders. Inhale, reach your fingertips tall, tall, tall towards the sky. Exhale, left hand to left shin, slide it towards your toes. Whatever you can reach is perfect. Ground your right sit bone into the earth, gracefully reach your right arm over your right ear, stretch the right side body. Breathe in, exhale, look over the right shoulder. Inhale deeply, continue to look over the shoulder if that works for your neck. And exhale, let it go. Engage both side bodies, reach both arms up towards the sky. Exhale your arms out, lower them towards the floor. Grab the outer edges of your thighs, draw them together, legs long in front of you. Once again, move that flesh of the seat out from underneath you. Toes are flexed and in line with your shins. Sit bones ground downward, pelvic bowl tilted forward. Inhale, puff your chest out tall. Spine reaching towards the sky, crown of the head reaching towards the sky. Both arms reach up towards the sky, if belly engaged, palms face one another. Exhale, fold forward. Your knees may be straight or bent, either one is fine. Allow your head and neck to release here. Breathe into the whole back of the legs, every nook and cranny, fill it with nourishing breath. And exhale, let it go. Another long, deep, smooth inhale. Exhale, allow yourself to fold forward with kindness a little bit farther if that works for you. You might wanna bend your elbows, drop your head and neck. Notice what happens when you do. Another inhale here. And an exhale a smidge farther. Noticing the sensations, and there may be an abundance of them. Gently walk your hands up your shins, to your knees, to your thighs. Sit up tall. Sweep your knees around behind you. We're going to come to sit on our heels. If you have a block, you can grab it for um, hero's pose. You can stick the block underneath you between your feet. It can be on any setting, so flat or um, vertical or even up high if your thighs are tight. So you're gonna slide it underneath you between your feet. Knees will face forward and you can settle your rear end just directly on the block and notice the stretch in the front of your thighs. If your knees hurt, spread them out wider or sit up on a bolster or a taller block. There's no right way to do this. Notice the stretch in the front of your thighs. Once again, draw your attention to your pelvic bowl. Stack your vertebrae one atop the other, reach the crown of your head towards the sky, and drop your shoulders. Rest your hands lightly upon your thighs. Palms can face down or palms can face up. Up is a more receptive open position. Down is perhaps if you're tired, drawing energy from the earth, if you're post-call. Breathe into your chest space here. And exhale, let it go. Notice the stretch in the front of the thighs. One more breath here. Exhale, let it go. Take the block or bolster or blanket out from underneath you. And we're gonna come into broken toe, which is one of those that doesn't feel good in the process, but feels amazing afterwards. You're going to take your toes, curl them underneath you. Take a moment to use your fingers and actually untuck those pinky toes that often don't get stretched or the fourth toe on each foot. And gently lean back onto your calves. Your belly is engaged and you are supporting your whole upper body here. As it feels comfortable, you can lower a bit more of your weight onto your toes and you'll notice quite an intense stretch there. It's kind of a um, heart so good stretch. And just breathe into the nooks and crannies of your toes while engaging your belly, holding yourself strong and controlling the amount of pressure that you put on your toes. If you need a break, you just shift forward, bring your hands forward, breathe into the discomfort here and exhale, let it go. One more inhale here. 
Exhale, let it go. Lower your hands forward, come off of the toes, untuck them and just bang them out. Nice massage. Have fun with it, feels good. And we'll stay in hands and knees here. Widen your knees a bit if they are more narrow than hips width. Come into tabletop. Hands directly under your shoulders, knees directly under your hips. Fingers wide, equal pie shapes between all of them. Back is straight and flat as if you were going to balance a tray on it. Chest is engaged. Just take a moment of pause here. Organizing. Noticing what feels good. Inhale for cow, stick your sit bones up towards the sky, crown of the head reaches towards the sky. Exhale for cat, suck your navel up towards the sky, just opening up the spine a tiny bit more. Inhale for cow, stretch the front of that belly. Exhale for cat. Come back to tabletop. Widen your knees a tiny bit if you don't feel stable. Ground your left hand into the earth, both knees into the earth. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, tuck it beneath you, coming into thread the needle. Right ear lands gently on the side of the earth, back of the right arm on the earth, perhaps the back of your shoulder, depending on your body. And you can tense your left fingers or walk them all the way long in front, whatever feels good for you. Stretch those fingers long, long, long. Breathe into every pocket that's stretching here. For everyone, the pockets that are stretching are a little bit different. Notice if your left armpit is stretching, back of the right shoulder, perhaps your waist, breathe into it. And a huge exhale. One more breath here. Twisting and letting go, releasing what's not needed, stretching with kindness. Walk your fingertips back by your face with your left hand. Press into the palm. Untangle yourself. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Right fingertips reach tall, tall, tall. Exhale, lower down to hands and knees. Organize yourself once again. Ground your right palm into the earth, both knees into the earth. Inhale, reach your left fingertips tall towards the sky. Exhale, thread the needle. Lower the back of your left arm and your left ear towards the floor. Come in to thread the needle on this side. Notice the stretch here and where it may be different. Tense the right fingers or walk them long in front. Notice what serves you and what feels good for you and breathe into it. Three long, deep breaths here. Nourishing nooks and crannies that aren't usually open. Making yourself better able to embrace whatever change is coming this week or this fall. Last deep breath. Walk your fingertips back by your face, palm downward, press into your hand, untangle that left arm, reach it towards the sky, Lower it down. Walk your hands forward and handprint. Curl your toes and shoot your hips up towards the sky. Come into downward dog. It may be a more narrow downward dog and you may wanna try your feet a little bit closer together today. We often do wide feet. See what happens when you change it up. Have your feet be a little bit closer. You may need to lift up on your tiptoes a little bit more. Your heels may not touch the earth or even come close. Just notice how it feels. <clears throat> Take a big deep inhale into your chest and a huge exhale. Notice your hands, are they equally grounded into the earth? Are all 10 knuckles pressing downward, both palms? Are your arms engaged, shoulders in the sockets, sit bones reach up towards the sky, 
Press into your hands, lower your head. Sit bones reach high, high, high. There are the apex. Lift up onto your tiptoes, everything reaching high. Press into your hands, shift your hips back even a tiny bit more, heels high. Head and neck drop completely. Lower your heels towards the earth. Notice how it feels. Bend the left knee, press the right foot towards the floor. Bend the right knee, press the left heel towards the floor. Come back to center, lift up high, high, high. Slowly lower both heels towards the floor and just notice how it feels. Lift up high on your tiptoes once again and step, hop, or jump towards the front of the mat. Come into a forward fold. Knees can be bent gently, sit bones stick up towards the sky. Release your hands from the floor lightly. Grab an elbow in, opposite elbow in each hand and allow your head and neck to sway completely. Notice how it feels. Notice where there's tightness. Shift into your toes, into your heels, towards the left, towards the right. Allowing yourself to just flow here and embrace whatever is there. Lower your hands towards the floor, engage your belly, and gently roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Your head will be the last to rise. Notice the blood shifts and just move slowly. Embrace it, enjoy it. Roll your shoulders back three times when you arrive, slowly nourishing and forward three times. And pause here in Tadasana. Lift up all 10 toes, ground the four corners of your feet into the earth and lower them down. Use the earth's energy, draw it up through you as a source of strength. It's always beneath you no matter what else is swirling around. Engage your kneecaps, engage your thighs, tuck your pelvis, stack your vertebrae one on top of the other. Heart with intention is light. Drop your shoulders, grow your neck long and tall, Crown of the head reaches towards the sky. Inhale and drop your shoulders once again with intention. Notice how it feels. Palms open towards the front, open and receptive. Embracing whatever's ahead. Not embracing, but embracing. Notice how you feel here. Open your arms out to the side, shoulder height once again. Engage your navel. Exhale, bring your hands forward in that beach ball position. Once again, suck your navel towards the back, stretch your spine. Inhale, stretch your arms out towards the sides, palms forward. Arms can come back behind your shoulders slightly, pinch your scapula. Exhale, round, come into the beach ball once again. Spine stretches towards the back. Notice how it feels. Inhale, open all the way, chest puffs forward. Exhale, round into that beach ball once again. Inhale, open your arms out, slight arch back. Bring your hands back to shoulder height. Relax for a moment here. Deep inhale and exhale. Wrap your arms around you, right arm under the left. You can either give yourself a hug here or come into eagle arms, whatever works for you today. Notice which one feels better. So either your fingers will reach towards the medial edge of the scapula, or your elbows will come one underneath the other. Grab your thumbs or your palms and bring your elbows to shoulder height. In either position, deep inhale, fill up your chest, especially the back body with nourishing breath. And an exhale. One more deep inhale here. And on the exhale, in either position, allow your head to fall into the cradle of your arms, elbows to come towards the um, towards your chest and belly button. Breathe into the back body, any areas of tightness, with kindness, not with judgment. Exhale, let it go. Last breath here, folding forward, whether you're in the hug or the eagle pose. Exhale, let it go. Slowly bring your chin back up to neutral. 
Untangle your arms, stretch them out towards the side walls. Press your palms into the side walls. Re-engage everything, pinch your scapula together. It's a transition moment. Doing things with intention helps you feel more in control and end up in the alignment you want to. A lot of what I teach is alignment yoga. From the idea that when we move through life in alignment, it's much more easeful than when we resist and move forward without purpose and intention. On the next breath, wrap your arms in the opposite direction. Left is under right. Elbows can come together, come into eagle pose, or reach those fingers all the way to the medial edge of the scapula. Taking a huge inhale here and an exhale. If you're in eagle pose on the inhale, you can lift your elbows up an inch or so. Exhale, drop your chin into the cradle of your arms, drop your head and neck, allow it to release. Breathe into every nook and cranny of the back body that pops open here. And exhale, let it go. One more inhale. Wiggle those fingers closer to the midline if you're in the hug position. Exhale, let it go. Bring your chin back up to neutral. Unwrap your arms, stretch them towards the side walls and lower them down by your sides. Shake your hands out, roll your shoulders out if need be. <coughs> Excuse me. Bring your hands to heart center, palms together. Press your palms together with intention. Each finger to pad touches with intention, elbows out wide. Ground your feet into the earth. Rise up onto your tiptoes. Use your palms pressing together for balance. Press your thumbs into your sternum if you need for more balance. Try to find your balance here. Notice any resistance to the wobbles. Gently begin to bend your knees. We're gonna lower down to the floor here, inch by inch. It's harder than it seems. <laughs> Go as slowly as you can. There's no rush to get there. Use the palms connection and the thumbs connecting into the sternum to help you with balance. Slowly bending your knees, sticking your butt back towards the back wall, up on your tiptoes and pause at the bottom. Take a deep breath here in through your nose and out through your mouth. Slowly begin to come up inch by inch, centimeter by centimeter, as slowly as you can, noticing the shaking, just enjoying it, having fun with it. If you fall, fall gently. When you arrive at the top, stay up high on the tiptoes, lift up even higher, straight your knees, press the thumbs into your sternum, palms together for balance, reach up high, high, high on those tiptoes, as high as you can, and slowly with intention, lower your heels towards the earth, and tip gracefully if that happens to you. Lower your hands towards the floor once again. Roll your shoulders out, noticing that when we sort of let go and relax in, a lot of the balance is easier. We're gonna come into dancer pose. Ground your left foot into the earth. Lift up all five toes, lower them down. Right hand runs along the front of the right thigh. Raise your right knee to 90 degrees. Run your right hand on the front of the left shin, grab your ankle and bring your heel towards your buttock. Some of you will be able to run your hand all the way towards your toes and flip your hand so that it's in the arch of your foot. That's the technical way to do dancer pose. Many of us don't have that shoulder flexibility. So see if that works for you. I find either position is fine. Tug your foot and your heel towards your buttock. You'll notice a beautiful stretch in the front of the thigh. Pay attention to your hips. Are they even towards the floor? Pay attention to that left hand. How are you using it for balance? Stand tall here. Draw the earth's energy up through the left foot. Use those monkey toes, as we talk about in pediatrics. Engage your energy all the way through the left side body, up through the crown of your head towards the sky. If you wish, raise your left arm towards the sky here, noticing if that left leg is getting tired. If you wish, tip forward, coming into a full dancer pose. Your torso comes forward, left hand comes forward, right foot presses into the right hand and the stretch in the front of the right thigh is longer. Enjoy it. If that doesn't work, stay upright. Either one is fine. 
even your hips. Come back upright if you're tipped forward. Notice any cramping in that left leg. Slowly lower your left hand, release the right foot and shake everything out. Roll the left ankle out with care, with kindness in both directions. Roll your right ankle out if need be and ground the right foot into the earth. Once again, all five toes lift up, lower them down like monkey toes to help you plant down into the earth. Ground that right leg downward, raise your left knee to 90 degrees, left hand on the thigh, runs down the front of the shin, grab your ankle, tug your ankle in towards your buttock. You can slide your hand around the toes and into the arch if that works for your shoulder. Notice how that feels. Enjoy the stretch in the front of the left thigh. Notice your right hand, how it's impacting your balance. Notice your hips. Are they square? You can check them out in your Zoom screen if you wish. Raise your right arm up towards the sky. Lengthen the whole right side body. Enjoy this stretch. Press the heel into your buttock a little bit more. If you wish, tip forward. Coming into dancer pose, press your left foot into the left hand and enjoy it. Notice the wiggles and the wobbles, embrace them. And even wiggle your right fingers as you lean forward. See how that feels. Come back upright, lower your right hand to your right hip, release your left foot, lower it down and shake it out. Walk towards the front of your mat, standing tall, feet tips width apart, ground your feet into the earth, engage your kneecaps, engage your thighs, tuck your pelvis, grow your spine tall towards the sky. Reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Inhale your arms out and up towards the sky, palms come together, fold forward, forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, sit on stick back towards the back of the mat, crown of the head reaches forward, back is flat. Notice the stretch in the back of your legs. Exhale, fold forward, forward fold. Inhale for another half lift, enjoy the stretch, stick your sit bones back out towards the back of the mat. Exhale, lower down, forward fold. Ground your palms into the earth, step back for plank and pause here. Top of the push-up, everything strong. Shift your weight forward onto your tiptoes. Bend your knees, untuck your toes, lower down chaturanga towards the earth, hug your elbows in towards you. If you wanna keep your knees straight, you're welcome to do that as well. Slowly lower down, forehead comes to the earth and pause for a moment. Palms are under your shoulders, elbows towards the sky, third eye connects to the earth. Take in a deep breath here, filling your chest and exhale. Inhale, lift up for a low cobra. Weight is out of your hands, heart shines forward. Crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, lower down. Forehead rests on the earth. Once again, inhale for a low cobra. No weight in your hands. You could even pick your hands up here. Engaging the back body, exhale, lower down. Press into your hands, curl your toes, press back and up to downward dog, hips shoot up towards the sky. Feet can be close together or wide. Notice what felt better or worse for you. Ground in here for a moment and enjoy it. Huge inhale and huge exhale. Once again, lift up onto your tiptoes, heels reach towards the sky, step up or jump towards the front of the mat, come into an easy forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight, sit bones reach towards the back of the mat. Exhale, fold forward. Engage your belly and slowly roll up, inch by inch by inch, head will be the last to rise. Arms reach out towards the sides and up, palms come together. Slight arch back, hands rest at heart center. Take a deep inhale here. And an exhale. 
Lower your hands by your sides, reach them out and up once again. Palms come together, slight arch back, fold forward, forward fold. Inhale for half lift, spine straight, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, fold forward. Ground your palms into the earth, step back to plank once again. Pause for a moment. Shift your weight with intention onto your tiptoes. Untuck your toes, bend your knees lower than them, bend your elbows, hugging them in towards your toes, torso, lower down towards the earth. Chaturanga. Inhale for low cobra or up dog for those of you who prefer. Lower down if you're in cobra, untuck your toes, shift your hips back and up to downward dog and pause. Deep inhale here once again. And an exhale. Ground into both hands, elbows straight, arms engaged, shoulders in, your in their pockets. Ground into the left foot. Inhale your right leg up into three-legged dog. Exhale, gently bring it between your hands. Come into warrior one. Reach both arms up towards the sky. Wiggle those right toes forward. On the exhale, sink into the right knee, then the front knee. Your left heel may pick up off the earth. Hips are square towards the front. Turn yourself towards the front of the mat. Reach your fingers towards the sky. Stretch both side bodies. Exhale, sink into it. Perhaps wiggle the right toes farther forward. Sink into your hips. Inhale once again. Reach your fingertips long. Exhale, sink into your hips. Lower your arms out by your sides. Reclass them at your sacrum. Press your fists towards the floor. Elbows straight, shoulders down and back, chest is open. A deep breath into the chest, a chest opener here. Exhale, release. Once again, deep inhale. If you wish, exhale, fold forward into Humble Warrior on the inside of the right knee. If it doesn't work for, for you, stay upright. Bring your fists towards the front of the mat and allow your head and neck to fall on the inside of that right knee if you're coming into Humble Warrior. Either one is fine. Notice the strain in the outer right hip here. And if it's too much, back out. Breathe into it. Reach those fists up towards the sky. Notice the release in the front of the shoulders and in the scapula area. One more breath here if you're folded forward. Let it go. Slowly rise back upright. Press those fists down towards the floor. Chest puffs out and up. Shoulders down and back. Crown of the head reaches tall, neck is long. One huge inhale here. And an exhale, let it go. Release your hands from behind you. Bring them to heart center. Palms together, each finger pad touches, thumbs connect to the sternum. Press off the back foot, shift your weight forward, come into warrior three, balance pose, and choose how high you raise your left foot towards the sky. Some of you will be able to get it to hip height. Some of you will have it just an inch or two off the earth. Either one is fine. There's no right answer. Just do what works for you and notice the wiggles and the wobbles. See if you can embrace it, relax into it. Can you wiggle those back foot, back toes, Perhaps roll your back ankle while you're here. One more breath. Gently come back to warrior one, hands at heart center. Lower your hands towards the earth, fold forward over that front foot. Step the back foot forward to meet the front, come into a forward fold. Engage your belly and slowly roll up inch by inch by inch by inch. Head will be the last to rise. When you arrive, shove your shoulders up to your ears, pinch the scapula together behind you, lower them by your sides, palms open towards the front. Take a moment to just breathe and rest, see how you feel, and enjoy all the tingles and shifts. Another deep inhale here. And an exhale. Arms out and up once again towards the sky. Palms come together, slight arch back. Fold forward, forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight. Sit bones reach out back towards the back of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. 
Ground your hands into the earth. Step back for a plank once again. For those of you who don't want to come down to Chaturanga, you can just keep your sit bones up and hang out and step back to downward dog. Otherwise, shift your weight forward onto your tiptoes, bend your knees, lower down Chaturanga towards the earth, whatever way works for you. Inhale for low cobra or upward dog. Exhale, lower down, press back to downward dog and pause. Notice how you feel here, get organized. Deep inhale and exhale. Another deep inhale. Huge releasing exhale. Raise your left leg towards the sky. Engage everything fully, arms are straight, both palms ground into the earth, shoulders in their pockets, hips square. Exhale, gently bring your left foot between your hands. Come into warrior one. Warrior one, there's a wider lane between your feet. Back toes reach towards the front, right front corner of the mat. Hips square towards the front. Inhale your arms up towards the sky. Wiggle those left toes forward. On the exhale, bend the front knees, sink into it. Your back heel is likely not on the ground, but there's a lovely calf stretch. Breathe into that. Huge inhale once again. And exhale, sink into your hips. One more long, deep breath. Stretch both side bodies long, long, long. Exhale, arms out and reclasp at your sacrum. Chest, puff your chest forward. Press your fists towards the earth. Straight your elbows, shoulders down and back. Neck is long, heart is light. Crown of the head reaches towards the sky. Breathe in here. Fill up the whole space behind the heart with nourishing air, especially the pocket behind. Notice if you need to wiggle your left toes farther forward. Once again, deep inhale. On the exhale, if you wish, fold forward into Humble Warrior on the inside of the left knee, fists reach towards the sky. Breathe in and out here. Notice the challenge, embrace the change, embrace the challenge, relax into it. And if it doesn't work for you, just stay upright. Allow those fists to fall a little bit farther towards the front of the mat, if it works for you. One more deep inhale. Exhale, rise back upright. Notice any wobbles and balance. Release your hands, bring them to heart center. Once again, palms together for balance. Each finger pad connects. Thumbs connect into the sternum for balance. Lift up the back heel. Shift your weight into your front foot and adjust your front foot as needed. Press off the back foot, tip forward into warrior three. Some of you will notice that your foot just grazes, grazes off the floor. Others will be able to lift the back heel up to hip height. Whichever works for you is fine. Notice the wobbles. Use your left toes like monkey toes. Relax into it. See if you can't wiggle your back toes. One more deep breath here. Exhale, lower your foot back. Come back to warrior. Come back to warrior one. Lower your hands to either side of your front foot. Step forward, come into forward fold. Take a moment to organize your feet. Release your hands from the floor, grasp your elbows, release the head and neck. A lovely release here. Once again, shift your weight into your toes and into your heels towards the left and towards the right. Lower your hands to the floor, engage your belly, and slowly roll up with intention. Inch by inch by inch by inch, head will be the last to rise. Allow yourself a moment to accommodate and adjust. Breathe into your chest through your nose. And exhale. We're gonna slowly transition to the floor here. 
Don't move too quickly. And allow yourself to lie on the floor in a way that works for you. So some of you will want to just slowly lower yourself down. Others may want to have your arms parallel to your legs, toes flexed and engage your belly and roll down inch by inch. Whatever works for you as you arrive and land on the floor. Give yourself a moment to arrive here. Notice what's touching the floor. Ground into the stability of the earth, knowing it's always there, no matter what change is happening around us. Flip your palms over to face the floor. Bend your knees, walk your heels towards your buttocks. Walk your fingers towards your heels. Ground into your feet and your palms. Reach your sit bones up towards the sky. High, high, high. Coming into a bridge pose here. Shimmy your shoulders underneath you to open the chest space even more. Hands can grab the upper edges of your mat. Tug your mat towards your heels. Reach your hips skyward. Knees energetically connect bridge pose. Breathe into your chest here in this spot, creating space and openness. Huge exhale. Meanwhile, engage your buttocks, hips. Reach high, high, high. Knees connect energetically. Feet grounded into the earth. Hips high. Breathe into it. Exhale. Let it go. Slowly untuck your shoulders. Release the sides of the mat. Slowly lower your hips towards the earth. And take a moment to pause here when you arrive. Notice how it feels. Cross your right foot. Place your right ankle atop the left knee, coming into like figure four position. From here, we're going to lift up into bridge once again. Both palms face downward. So left sole of the foot is on the earth. Inhale, lift up your hips. Try to even them out here with the, the right ankle is resting easily atop the left knee. Inhale, lift those hips up. Breathe into it. Press the right knee energetically towards the floor. Just notice the difference in engagement. Notice your core having to show up a little bit more here. Lift your hips high, engage your buttocks. Notice the stretch in the front of the left abdomen, the left hip here. One more breath. Slowly lower down and relax. Untuck anything that might be kinked. Take your hands, wrap them around the back of the left thigh. Pick up the left foot, draw the left knee in towards you. Come into a figure four. Both ankles are flexed to protect the knee. Right elbow compressed into the right hip to release the outer right hip. Breathe into it and enjoy it. Huge exhale. Another deep breath here. Noticing your heart beginning to slow a little bit here. Release your hands from behind your thigh. Slowly lower that left foot towards the earth. Uncross your feet. Cross in the opposite direction. Left ankle atop the right knee. Thread your hands around the right thigh. Hug it in towards you. Flex both feet. Press your left elbow into the left knee. Come into figure four and enjoy the stretch in the outer left hip. Breathe into it. Deep inhale into your chest. And a huge exhale. <sighs> Gently release your hands, lower your right foot towards the floor. Replace your hands by your hips, palms down. Press into your left foot, lift your hips up, come into a bridge pose on this side. Notice the different muscles needing to be engaged here. Press your left knee down towards the floor. Right hip reaches upward. Three breaths here. 
a little bit of a change in the bridge and notice how what works and what doesn't and what wobbles. Is this side stronger than the other side? Not as strong. Breathe into it, engage your buttocks. Last breath. Slowly lower your hips down towards the earth. Untuck your shoulders, lower that left foot towards the earth. Draw your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins and rock side to side on your sacrum, massage the lower back. Wrap your arms around your right shin. Stretch the left leg long. Continue to hug the right knee in towards your chest. Inhale deeply. Allow it to drop laterally into the hip socket on the exhale. Inhale, hug it in towards you. Exhale, let it sink into the hip socket. Bring your hands to the back of your right thigh. Straight your right leg towards the ceiling. Heel presses towards the sky. Toes press towards your nose. Point your toe. Flex your toe towards your nose. Point your toe towards the sky. Flex your toe towards your nose. Enjoy the flossing of the fascia in the back of the leg. Point your toe towards your towards the sky. Flex your toe towards your nose. Bend your knee once again. Place your hands once again on the shin and give your knee a final hug into that hip socket. Release your hands. Extend the right leg alongside the left. And pause for a moment and just notice the difference between the sides. And you relax. Draw your left knee into your chest. Hands come to the front of the shin. Hug it in towards you. Exhale, let it sink into the hip socket. Inhale, hug it in towards you. Exhale, let it sink in. Right leg is stretched long towards the front. N notice if your toes are tipped towards the side. Have them flex towards the ceiling on the right leg. One more deep inhale here. Exhale, let it sink in laterally. Replace your hands behind the left thigh, extend your left leg, heel presses towards the sky, ankles flex, toes flex towards your nose. Notice the stretch in the back of the leg. Point your toes towards the sky. Flex your toes towards your nose. Point and flex. Point and flex. Rebend your knee, hands come to the shin, hug it in towards you, a final hug. And we'll release into that hip socket and stretch the leg out long in front of you. Pause here. Allow your toes to fall towards the outer edge of the mat. Notice if your shoulders are tucked in a strange way underneath you, readjust. Palms open. Hands about six inches from your waist. Allow yourself to let go completely here. Coming straight into Shavasana. Notice for a moment what is connected to the earth. Your heels, the backs of your calves, perhaps your sacrum, buttocks, backs of the shoulders, backs of the hands. Notice the connection to the earth and the grounding. Allow the earth to hold you here, nourish you, cradle you. As you let go of the control of the breath. And as you let go of the control of all the muscles, take a moment to relax your feet, to relax your toes to relax your calves and your shins. Relax your knees. Relax your thighs. 
Relax your hamstrings. Relax your hips and your buttocks. Relax your back and your shoulders. Relax your hands and your forearms. Relax your upper arms and your shoulders once again. Relax your throat and your neck. Your eyes and your forehead. Notice the back of your head connect to the earth below. Allow yourself to let go completely. You may notice yourself lifting up off the mat, a lightness, a sense of peace. Allow that to seep into every nook and cranny of your body. Gently begin to deepen your breath. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take a big, deep inhale and stretch long in either direction, filling yourself up with nourishing air and a huge exhale of transition. <sighs> Draw your knees into your chest and roll over to one side. And pause for a moment here. Pause here, and perhaps in the weeks ahead, can you heal yourself? Infuse healing energy into yourself into your being. For too long, we've been attracted to things that drain us, exhausting our body, depleting our soul. That time has passed. The world is a spa, a nature retreat, a wealth of healing. Pour Epsom salts and essential oils into your bath. Sit quietly by a tree or in a garden. Walk around the block in your neighborhood. Spend an afternoon in the park. Throw stones into the river. Allow beautiful music to quietly imbue the stillness with healing instead of the pounding of your mind. Light a fire and awaken that darkened hearth to glowing flames and soothing warmth. Press into your hands and slowly rise back up to a comfortable seat. Sit atop something if that works for you or not. Allow yourself to sink right back into Shavasana. Rest your hands lightly on your thighs. Sit bones connect downward into the earth. Tilt your pelvis forward, grow your spine long and tall. Drop your shoulders. Crown of the head reaches towards the sky. A moment of peace and alignment. Take a deep inhale and an exhale. Bring your hands to your heart. Left hand presses into the heart space, right hand to top. Send yourself good nourishing wishes. Take this beautiful feeling out with you into the week ahead. 
allowing you to embrace whatever might be happening ahead. Bring your hands to heart center, palms pressed together, each finger pad touches, thumbs connect to the sternum. Deep inhale once again, and an exhale. May you all be well, may you all be safe, may you all be well, and may you all have a beautiful week of embracing change ahead. The light in me honors and reflects the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.